Peru avoided being forced into elections as the Congress approved the new Prime Minister along with the Cabinet after a marathon session. Our correspondent in Lima, Rael Mora, has this story. In last night's congressional approval of the new Prime Minister and Cabinet, there were 76 votes in favor, 36 abstentions, and a leftist minority voted against the government. Congressman Juan Pari explained why most of his party voted against. The dialogue cannot be biased and only with the ones that have a particular political viewpoint and a determined position that simply defends the economic model selected. Then Gateriano has not engaged in dialogue with what is the real opposition, which simply questions the economic model. In his speech before the vote, the Prime Minister mentioned the word investment 32 times and defended the project Tia Maria in great length. This is a multimillionaire mining project that is causing social conflict. According to political analyst Paco Moreno, such conflict puts in evidence the obstacles that the government has to continue pushing its economic plan and it is the most visible challenge confronting the executive. I consider the project Tia Maria dead. For many reasons, the case of police abuse, the persons who passed away, the dead peasant, and the population is totally angry. The best thing Cateriano can do is put the project in standby. The Prime Minister also asked for special powers for the executive to implement legislation dealing with the economy, criminality and social inclusion. However, Congress postponed such decision and left the executive without the powers they won for their 15 months left in office. Rael Mora, Telesur, Lima.